Good morning. This is Pastor Jeff, and this is our daily lectionary readings for Friday, February 23rd, 2024. With it being Friday, we're still looking ahead to what is going to happen at church on Sunday. Speaking of church on Sunday, following church is the chili cook-off. Hope to see you there. Psalm 22, 23 through 31, once again, is going to be our psalm reading. We're continuing in the book of Genesis for our Old Testament reading. Genesis 16, 1 through 6, and we're continuing in Romans for our New Testament reading. Romans 4, 1 through 12, I flip up our scripture banner, and it is showing that we're going to read from the New American Standard Bible today. Psalm 22, you who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, glorify him. And stand in awe of him, all you descendants of Israel, for he has not despised nor scorned the suffering of the afflicted, nor has he hidden his face from him, but when he carried to him to help, he heard. From you comes my praise in the great assembly. I shall pay my vows before those who fear me. The afflicted will eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him will praise the Lord. May your heart live forever. All of the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord. And all your families and nation will worship before you. For the kingdom is the Lord's and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth will eat and worship. All those who go down to the dust will kneel before him. Even he who cannot keep his soul alive, a posterity will serve him. It will be told of the Lord to the coming generations. They will come and will declare his righteousness to a people who will be born that he has performed it. Our Old Testament reading from the book of Genesis 16. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, had not borne him a child, but she had an Egyptian slave woman who was name was Hagar. So Sarai said to Abram, see now, the Lord has prevented me from bearing children. Please have relations with my slave woman. Perhaps I will obtain children through her. And Abram listened to the voice of Sarai. And so after Abram had lived ten years in the land of Canaan, Abram's wife Sarai took Hagar the Egyptian, her slave woman, and gave her to her husband Abram as his wife. Then he had relations with Hagar, and she conceived. And when Hagar became aware that she had conceived, her mistress was insignificant in her sight. So Sarai said to Abram, May the wrong done to me be upon you. I put my slave woman into your arms. But when she saw that she had conceived, I was insignificant in her sight. May the Lord judge between you and me. But Abram said to Sarai, Look, your slave woman is in your power. Do to her what is good in your sight. So Sarai treated her harshly, and she fled from her presence. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of Romans, Romans chapter 4. What then shall we say that Abraham, our forefather, according to the flesh, has found? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. Now to the one who works The wages are not credited as a favor, but as what is due. But to one who does not work, but believes in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is credited as righteousness. Just as David 
also speaks of the blessing of the person to whom God credits righteousness apart from the works. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds have been forgiven and whose sins have been covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord will not take into account. Is this blessing then on the circumcised or on the uncircumcised also? For we say faith was credited to Abraham as righteousness. Now then was it credited while he was circumcised or uncircumcised, not while circumcised, but while uncircumcised, and he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith which he had while uncircumcised, so that he might be the father of all who believe without being circumcised, that righteousness might be credited to them. And the father of circumcision, to those who are not are of circumcision, but who also follows in the steps of the faith of the father Abraham, which he had while uncircumcised. And here ends our readings for the day.